Scorpio, what do you think of when you hear the word karma? Some people may think balancing of the scales. Some people may think reaping what you sow. Some people may think justice. Well, if there was one word to describe the energy that is surrounding you now and lingering on throughout these next few weeks, that one word would be fair. And of course, to help you further understand what it is that I'm trying to tell you, Scorpio, I need for you to go with me on a mind trip. So you are out and about and you decide that you want to go out to the mall. You're at the mall, you're having a good time, you are shopping, when suddenly you accidentally bump into someone. You turn around, you look at them, you say, oh my bad. Now, in the midst of you bumping into them, they drop one of their bags. You try to bend down and pick it up and they, they get an attitude and they snatch it up and they say, no, I got it. Apologize. And you say, well, I said my bad. They said, that's not an apology. And he was like, well, I apologize. And they said, no, I want you to say, I'm sorry. Now, by this time, they're getting all hyped up and they're getting so loud that people are beginning to look. So a small crowd is starting to form around you guys. Now, you are starting to distance yourself from this person because you realize this person is a little ignorant. So you're like, you know what? I'm not going to say anything. So you get to walking away and this person is like, hey, wait a minute. Didn't I say, say I'm sorry? You're like, for the sake of peace, I'm going to turn around and say sorry. So you turn around and you say sorry. Then they say, no, I said, say, I'm sorry. So you begin to walk away like, you know what, this person has totally lost their mind. They're obviously full of it. Let me just turn around and walk away. So you start to turn around, you walk away, and you get a little distance between you guys. But suddenly this person is really irate. They're really losing their mind. You don't understand where all of this is coming from, but suddenly they decide that they're going to come walking after you. Now, you turn around and you're like, man, I really don't want this smoke. I'm really not trying to fight. I mean, it's just really not even that serious. But this person insists that they're going to come to you and confront you to your face. And you're going to say, I'm sorry. So people are pulling out their phones. People are like, oh my God, they're getting ready to fight. This person is storming towards you and you standing like, man, I really don't want to do this. But you know, I throw down if I have to. But this person is getting closer and closer and closer. And all of a sudden, bloop. The person trips and falls. Everybody's camera goes straight down to this person and they're laughing and everyone has their cameras in the person's face. They're going live. People are recording. People are losing their minds, laughing really, really loud. You look at the person it's just like, wow, really? Turn around, you leave them all and everything is all good. Now, what does this mean, Scorpio? Well, we're talking about balancing the scales. We're talking about things that will just kind of work themselves out where people will step on their own feet trying to hurt you. Now, please pay attention because these energies work both ways. So if you're coming for people at this time, it may backfire. You may be the one who trips and falls because the energy right now is it's kind of a testing period. It's a lot of people who want to say stuff. It's a lot of people who want to stand up for their rights. But if you're the person who is on the wrong side of that scale, you can potentially be highly embarrassed. So remember, Scorpio, as we're moving into this new energy, make sure sure you're doing the right thing because the word karma, fair, justice, balance, all of those words are really, really going to be highlighted. What side of the scale are you going to be on? All right, Scorpio. So you guys got to make sure you are paying attention. Um, a lot of people have just gone through a, a testing phase, a testing period and either you got put on the team or you got cut okay um there is about to be a time where i want to say like a lot of great leaders are being called i'm feeling the energy of great leaders being called and the sheep are being separated from the wolves at this time okay and this is coming in you being able to to recognize negative energy positive energy being tricked um really paying attention okay uh, some of you guys, I'm really feeling it like, you know, you really have to look at other people's perspective at this time. You're really going to have to um, maneuver, play chess, play nice, all of that kind of energy, okay? Um, 
yeah it's just a lot of stuff going on right now the energies are really really intensifying and you have to have to and i keep saying this i keep stressing it you have to pay attention guys keep your eyes peeled okay it's like a test and you don't even know it's a test you know i'm getting so many people writing me like trying to figure out what is going on but i'm telling you a lot of you guys are being separated from you know sheep from the wolves like a lot of great leaders are being called and it's like if you can withstand and make it through this time then you'll be on that you know next stage or that next platform and i'm not necessarily talking about in front of people or whatever but I'm talking about whatever spirit has in mind for you. Some of y'all are definitely moving into that life purpose energy. But you're going to have to remove certain stuff from yourself. Or you're going to have to start realizing other stuff about what's going on around you. Heighten that intuition. Use, you know, your God-given gifts and abilities. And I'm telling you, a lot of y'all are going to really be on a good side of karma. Let's get into these energies. We're using the um, Tattoo Tarot 8 coin Tattoo Tarot today to get into what the energies are. The rest of them, wow, Six of Cups. So we have the past here. We have some memories. We have nostalgia. So this is either people coming back from the past, memories from the past coming back up. Um, this could even be past energy coming back to test you. Certain people coming back. For example, if this is a relationship, some people are feeling like, oh, this person is coming back. And all of a sudden, this person, you know, may want me or this person is coming for me or this person is feeling um, some type of way, then, you know, because we're talking about cups, feelings, emotions, uh, memories, nostalgia, the subconscious mind, things that are still deeply rooted in the subconscious, okay? So these things happen to be cleared out, things being highlighted from the past. Make sure you're paying attention to that. Now, what else do we have here? Mm, the queen of wands okay so this is aries leo sagittarius energy here so some of you guys can be dealing with an aries leo sagittarius from the past okay you can be dealing with someone who you have memories with this could be good or bad memories this could also be just that adversity let's say for example in our mind trip that person who was who was coming at you or this person who made you feel some type of way this is um that person saying no say i'm sorry instead of whatever you know um or you being like say I'm sorry those kind of things like this this memory this feeling stuff okay I'm feeling like it's two dual energies here it's like there's one energy that's really emotional and then there's one energy that's really strong and dominant right and it could be you or it could be any other person but I'm just really feeling the energy like there are two different energies and one of these energies is focused and one of these energies is emotional Balancing other scales again is what I'm telling you. I feel like for a lot of people when it comes to uh, emotions, especially Scorpios, because you are a, a, um, a water sign, so you're feeling your emotions. I'm really feeling the energy of emotions harming people at this time if you think about the mind trip again that person is like say I'm sorry that's somebody who's in their feelings they're in their emotions okay something small happened you bumped into the person they dropped their bag on the floor you said my bad you said I apologize you said sorry but for them it wasn't enough and that's okay some of y'all are really gonna have to understand that or some people are gonna have to understand about you you can't please everybody and you can't keep apologizing you cannot keep apologizing okay whoa whoa too much wants to jump out but i'm gonna pick this one here because this is the page of swords so we're talking about a looking energy a watching energy and this is either someone watching you watching your social media someone from the past is watching it could be an aries leo sagittarius energy or you could be watching someone or you could be you know watching a cancer scorpio pisces but in this testing phase, in this testing season, a lot of you guys are going to have to be blind to the BS. You understand what I'm saying? You're going to have to be blind to the BS because this energy here is very immature. It's very, you know, with this sword, very cutthroat. So this is immature communication, but it's intellect. So it's like it's coming from somewhere because remember we're talking about karma, we're talking about justify, we're talking about the scales being balanced. So we're not talking about something that's not relevant. We're talking about something that's very relevant. Some of you guys have an ex that's watching and your ex is watching and your ex is looking at you and feels some type of way and they want that apology or they demand that they, you know, uh, be a part of what you have or, you know, you're trying to walk away from a situation and energetically they still have you in that you owe me an apology, okay, type energy. If some of y'all been having dreams about people or you've been feeling bound to people in, a, in, a, in any kind of way, and it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, 
but even in the dream state or in the energetic state, you may be feeling the energy of someone feeling entitled to your energy. An ex, how dare you walk away from me? How dare you move on from me? Okay, that kind of energy. But it's really strong though, because if you're not careful, you can get sucked and pulled into it. That's why I'm feeling the energy of like, a lot of y'all gonna have to use more logic than emotion during this transit, okay? Make sure you are using logic during this transit. Now, in the recent past, what do we have? Mm, the King of Wands, wow. So yes, this looks like it was some type of couple. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. It could be um, you guys were together and now this is that ex who's watching, who's stalking. Someone who may be mature on the outside, but on the inside, they they have a little bit of this energy, like I'm still gonna watch, I'm still going to be immature, I might be a little bit petty. You still owe me an apology. On the outside, I'm gonna act like, oh no, it's cool, it's everything's good. No, everything's all right. But on the inside, it's just kinda like, you know what I mean? That kind of energy. Wow. Wow. Now let's see what's going on in your headspace. Oh, the Knight of Wands. Another person. This looks like an entire family right here. In fact, it is the entire family. It's, it's the king, the queen, and the knight. Okay, so this is the little messenger. This is a messenger person, a person who's in and who's out. Okay, they carry information. They know what's going on. This is, you know, somebody who is around. This could be even the people who were standing around in our mind trip who were recording with their cameras. They were the ones who were telling everybody, oh, it's about to be a fight. It's about to be a fight. They were the ones who were giving the information. Okay, these were the people who were going to have uh, the, the record to show, like when they put it on their uh, timeline. So y'all thinking about some news or some information coming in? Something coming in that could be very unexpected. Something that you did not anticipate. But it was quick, fast, quick, fast. And it's all communication. All of these wants are communication. Again, people talking, people saying things. Wow, this wants to jump out. Whoa, near future. Wow. So in the near future, we have the emperor, the ruler, someone who is the conqueror, and then we have these scales here. These came out in reverse. Usually I don't read them in reverse, but the way these jumped out, it's like, yeah, this one is in reverse. Because here we have someone who is still trying to balance the scales. But here it's like a decision has been made, and boom, the ruler reigns. So whoever um, is like in the mind trip, whoever is the one who tried to make it right and tried to make peace will be the one who stands there at the end as the other person topples and falls over and boom, falls on their face and the joke's on you. The, um, the egg is on your face. But here it is, that emperor. Somebody's going to come out on top. Somebody is going to rule. So if this is a romantic relationship, it could involve the children. It could even be, you know, daddy got a new girlfriend or mommy got this new dude or anything of that nature, okay? It could be a workplace situation as well. You know, you got two bosses here, a supervisor, a boss or something, and this person is keeping up all office gossip or this is the person who's relaying all the information, who's in and out, who's saying all the different stuff. It could even be one of your friends. I heard this and I heard that. But you're going to have to pay attention because the entitlement, entitlement, that should have been the word. But the word that I got was fair. But entitlement seems to be um, another word that really wants to push forward in this reading. Now, what do you fear? The, dude. Wow. The page of wands. Now we got the entire, entire family out here. What is going on? Goodness. We got the knight of wands. The Page of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Emperor. It is like someone from your past, like if you get into an argument with a significant other, you're going to have to face their whole family. That's like, um, let's say in our mind trip, this person uh, got to you. But before they got to you, they your whole family stood behind you like, okay, if you come for, it, for this one, you got to get all of us. Okay, wow, interesting, and the and it's raining from the past. Just know, God, and this could be like a separation, some type of divorce, or you're separating. It's like if I leave this person, or if it's over between me and you, then you know the whole family. I lose the whole family. Like your mama don't like me no more. Your, your cousins don't like me no more. Hmm. Wow. 
but that's what you fear. So you probably fear even a lesser, uh, a, a even more immature energy because this is even less than a, a wand. So this is like a family. Jesus Christ. Okay, so let us see what is going on. Um, how do you look to other people? The seven of um, seven of wands. So the seven of wands again, another wands energy. It looks like you look like you have a like a heart, like you fighting, like you know you got heart. Um, this to me is standing there in the mind trip, kind of like you know what? I really don't want to fight you. I really don't want to do this, but you know what? Haru. I'm going to stay here and I'm going to face you because I know that, you know, God and the emperor, uh, in this case, the universe got my back and I don't have to, you know, brace myself to get hurt because before you can even touch me, you're going to trip and fall over your own two feet and the joke's going to be on you. And you look like you just standing there like, and I don't have, you know, you, it's, it's kind of like you, you have to fight. You got to stand up for yourself, but the heart, see, we looking at the heart in this case, it's like you got heart just because you stand there and you endure. And also it's like you got heart because you have to, um, you had to apologize or you had to, um, you, 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 you said something that you bumped into the person and it was like, my bad, you know, you acknowledge that. Your bag fell. You bent down, try to pick it up. No, that's not good enough. Okay, cool. Bet. Apologize. I apologize. Okay, that takes heart. You know, um, uh, you trying to walk away. No, say I'm sorry. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. It's like, dude, do you not see me doing it? Like, I tried. So, at the end of the day, you look like you have overcome something or you may be victorious. This is that skill, that karma being balanced. It's like the person falls flat on their face and you're just standing there like, well, I didn't even touch you, you know? So let us see what is going on in the hopes. What do you hope for? Ooh, can we see that? Can we see that? That is the justice card, ladies and gentlemen. What are we talking about this whole thing? You want things to be fair. You want things to be just. You want things to be balanced. Okay, and that's what we're talking about the whole time. And it seems like it will be. Like some of y'all, like it's like I feel like complete chaos for your energy. Like all hell has broken loose, but it's like whatever it's meant to be, it's gonna, it's gonna be. Um things will show and prove. If you run it and you're trying to get me, you will trip on your own two feet before you get there. And this is just really showing and proving that you really want things to kind of just work out like that. I mean, like having the heart to fight, like in the mind trip, like, yeah, I'll fight you. I'll get down if I have to, but I really don't want to, you know? And, and, and I feel like in this case, when things balance out, when Lady Justice finish balancing those scales, things will be exactly the way that they are supposed to be. Keep in mind, this works both ways, both ways. Now, let's see what's the outcome of this whole thing. Oh, the moon. Uh, the moon things coming to light so let's just say in this situation something from the past is revealed like boom it's coming to light and i feel like whatever hell breaks loose because of it there is going to be justice okay there is like karma is going to rain down okay so for some of you guys you won't even have to fight to get that you are going to like there's some type of um when we talk about the moon we talk about things from the deep deep subconscious mind we're talking about things deeply deeply rooted that come out so that's in the spiritual sense right so then it manifests in a sense of let's say someone that person in the store getting mad because you bumped into them and dropped the bag it's like dude it's something else in your in, in your subconscious that would make you that upset that I bumped into you and made you drop your bag. So sometimes um, when it comes to karma, the way that you fight has to be in the same place where it all begins, okay? In the spirit. So if you know in your heart, in your spirit, and you carry the energy that there's something else deeply rooted in other people from their past, in their subconscious, and you maneuver through the energy of understanding, 
during this time in this transit, then I feel like you'll be okay. But I feel like um, there has, like I said, there's a, a new leadership being called during this time. And the only way to get initiated in or invited in is to fall under the right side of karma or on the right side of justice. It's like many, um, like there's a gate I'm saying, and, and like people are being called to come through the gate. And once you get through the gate, you know, there are plenty more things that you have access to through this gate. There are some people who have been called to the gate to walk through, but the gate is about to be slammed in their face. Only because, what we're going back to here, things that are deeply rooted in the subconscious that have yet to be worked out. Okay, so let's go there. Let's, let's go to the subconscious real quick. We're going to go to the um, hidden realm. And we're going to pull some of these to see either what you can work on to get these energies right during this transit or what you need to release and let go of in order to get these energies right okay because you don't want to get to that gate and get the door slammed on you and um you know if there's somebody else who gets the door or the gate slammed on them then that's on them because it's going to be fair you get what you give you reap what you sow lady justice will reign so let's go ahead and let's get three of these and then we'll go from there all right Ah, the dragon's duel. I told you at the beginning, I said there's a dual energy. There's two different things going on. It says inner conflict, morality, conscious choice. So like I told you, the inner um, conflict, I told you those deeply rooted subconscious things from the past. Feelings wise, cups, moon, that's Pisces, okay? deeply rooted uh, subconscious feelings that need to come to the forefront to either be cleansed or to be evaluated to see how you can work with them okay so like I said this is that person who got mad because you bumped into them and made them drop their bag it's like okay it's something else deeply wrong with you okay um, the conscious choice so um whatever it is this i feel like it's a separation between like families it could be in-laws like the whole family is splitting uh people having to choose sides too here this could be workplace environment family environment relationship environment but it's a duel it's two different sides it's two different energies going on at the same time you see these two dragons i'm not sure if you can see that but it's two dragons dueling with each other like having it out now what else do we have Oh, the ice queen. Okay, ideas preserved, non-action. Oh my God, it says entitlement. I told you, there is an entitlement energy going around where people feel like, no, I'm sorry. Like say, you know, like, especially I told you this page, it's like an immature energy, but even if it's energetic, there's someone who feels like you owe them, or maybe you feel like someone owes you. But at the end of the day, the energy is entitlement. So you have to take that how it applies. When we're talking about justice, when we're talking about things deeply rooted in your subconscious that make you even feel entitled, where is that coming from? Okay? Because the way justice is set up, this is leading towards non action. And let's think about our mind trip. The person was running after you, right? They tripped and fell on their own face. And what happened? They, they, it was not action. They couldn't do anything but lay there on the floor and look stupid. Non-action. The ice queen became a block of ice right there on the ground just for everybody to, to laugh at. Okay? Um, ideas preserved. So the person's idea to run up on you and to, and to confront you, be in your face, and possibly even try to um, fight you, it's like that idea got put to a halt, okay? And that's what's happening. That This energy is, I'm telling you, it's very intense. And it involves a lot of people. It's, you know, it's a dual energy. So let's see what else. Ah, the cosmos. The cosmos. I'm feeling like this goes with this emperor energy here where we're talking about, okay, creativity. We're talking about vastness. Um, this is an energy where you're using the energies that's around you to kind of play alchemy, right? So let's say something's not working out. Like I'm feeling a whole separate energy for this. Let's say something's not working out for you and you're looking for a way to... 
make your ideas flourish because a lot of y'all have been on, um, on on ice okay a lot of y'all have been on ice the ideas are preserved you're not moving um, and, and I'm telling you, for some of y'all, the reason why you can't get anything moving is because of that entitlement. It's a blockage. You know, I'm saying this out of love to some of y'all that one of the blockages on why you can, can't can produce or manifest what it is that you want to manifest is because of uh, that low vibrational energy of entitlement of someone owes me. Okay. Um, and that works both ways. If you're looking at someone and it's like people around you trying to figure out why they can't manifest and you are, they're mad or upset that you're manifesting. It's because of the entitlement. That vibration right now is tearing a lot of people down. So if you feel like you're operating in that, you're going to get exactly what you give. But how do you break from things that are not working your way? Well, you go to the cosmos. You begin to get creative. There is a vast world there's a vast amount of people so for some of y'all if y'all leaving a relationship behind with this um this family this aries leo sagittarius whatever this dual is that cause separation this could be your job you're leaving behind a huge relationship for, for some of y'all this may be stepchildren but it's like there's a whole world out there where you can put your energy where you can manifest and all you have to do is go back to the spirit space where it all starts anyway. Because whatever manifests in the form of justice is what was going on in the spirit realm. And I hope I'm really getting that across to some of you guys. It's the spirit realm. It's the spirit realm. It's the spirit realm. If you're operating in the form or the spirit um, of entitlement right now, because that is the, that is the, the energy that is tricking people right now. It's a tricky, tricky energy, okay? And if you can maneuver through that energy, you're gonna come out as the emperor, a very, very beautiful energy, okay? Self-mastery, someone who is um, in control of themselves, them, em their empire, um, whether it be your family, yourself, your business, okay? But some of you guys are really about to see Karma and justice in a brand new way. Can you imagine that? That you're just minding your own business and then someone gets mad at you and they're ready to fight you and then, but they trip and fall on their own face right before they get to you, right in front of everybody. Can you imagine that? I mean, that's, that's justice at its finest. Okay, so make sure that you guys are on the right side of justice um, moving forward throughout this energy. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. Even when no one's looking. Okay? Because it'll come back to bless you. Karma will come back to bless you. Okay? Now, that is what I get for you. Thank you guys so much for all of your likes, your subscribes, your shares. Scorpio, I appreciate you guys so much. Go ahead and leave a comment. Um, if you need a personal reading, hit me up. Waterstarvibes at gmail.com. Please look in the description box so you can see how to list and format your questions. Okay? And please only give a brief description if necessary. So, thank you guys once again. And I'll see you in your next video.